So, are we about to see this Fire Emblem showdown? Yo, Scythe, Scythe's Roy is real. Like, is. That's that's not even like a fraudulent character. Scythe won, he's beaten Oro Zero Suit Samus and won the tournament before, like I think an exposure with his Roy, so. And you the spec? Five on the heartbreaker, Yo, heartbreaker. dude, I was, if you were Diego, I would have said Diego no. He's a, yeah, that, I could tell still on his face that he's not. Yeah, if I wasn't just shaking it off, that. but that was winner's bracket, so he's going to see another day. Probably make his uh, way a little bit deeper into the bracket before having to face one of these guys again. Here we go, to Smashville. Fire Emblem Showdown. These guys are always playing each other. Deep in brackets, like, they can always expect Scythe and Oro are going to have a matchup, because they are two of Chicago's finest... And they are both multi multiple character masters. Like Scythe, Scythe is definitely like more so go. than Oro, where he like plays other characters. But Oro, I've, as, as we've seen today, definitely not somebody to sleep on. Yeah, some really good juggling right there from Scythe, but great DI on that. Uh, I think it was a back air from Oro to avoid getting forward smashed out of it. Um, Roy's sword obviously being you know fairly short in comparison to the others. Good dare, really. Yeah. Nice let's grab that. And the Scythe gets happy, you can see he's just shaking his hands. Good Nair, canceling out the quick draw. Ooh, nice short oh. hop down here by Oro, or by Scythe there, ended up getting a grab and forward throw, but not taking on any more damage before Oro breaks out of that little combo string. Wow, Ooh, wow, awesome tech. Awesome tech, definitely proactive there. Oh, but he doesn't tech on the platform and gets punished for it very hard with a massive ass sword in the face. That's the difference that make between good players and great players. Like the players who can proactively tech, like when when it doesn't even look like they're gonna be like in a you know edge guarded situation there, and just get them and just like extend that stock a little bit further. Wow. Ooh. Really, really nice off stage play by Oro there. I wanted to see the other tech. I'm not sure if he just didn't have the correct DI on the hit to get the tech, but regardless, very nice play from Oro. Yeah, whereas uh, last time when he was up being, like, he, he got, like, a little bit closer to the stage before Oro hit him with it, whereas this time Oro was on the ledge waiting to do that ledge hop down here, so he might not, even with all the Smash DI in the world, he might not have been able to connect with the stage uh, himself, so. And I feel like these are, like, really solid mind games coming out from Oro. Like, he'll, he'll quick draw and just straight up wave dash Like, out of place. it, yep. Yeah, just do nothing, just kind of stare just at Just, like, you. be in your face and, like, say, do something. Oh, I was Pooch going to, causing that's drama right. as usual. Yeah, Pooch always over here causing BS. I was, I was gonna run it, but I didn't have a capture card. So, uh, I didn't have a capture card. You leaving, Pooch? Have fun, dude. Yo, guys, everybody, Pooch for mod. Dude, Pooch, Pooch got that VGBC mod. I was, yeah, no, good, dude. No, man. Get, get Pooch's sword back, guys. Really? No. I have no love, for, uh, no love for Gimmer for that. I was talking to Gimmer on Facebook yesterday. Maybe I got to uh, put a couple words in. Yeah, we're going to have to file a complaint, put a ticket in. Yeah, you guys will be seeing Pooch get on the chat uh, in a little bit of time. He always goes home after he loses. <laughs> Pretty early, usually. Yeah, yeah, very, very early on, usually. And just gets back on chat and then brings his trash talk all the way back home the with him. The most solid trash talk in the Midwest, though, I must definitely, say. Definitely. Pooch's trash talk is known across the country now, too. Ooh, his Scythe just tries to go for that yeah. pivot forward smash. Doesn't connect because Oro is still chilling in his shield. Ooh, Ooh. nice quick draw there. Huge and opportunity, then... missed tech. And you think he's got this edge guard? Yeah, yeah see, does. all of that was just because of Oro, or Scythe missing that tech there that allowed Oro to punish with the forward air and then end up setting it up on edge guard. Really nice work by Oro. Ooh, great crowd cancel down smash from Oro right there. That is his fastest smash attack by far. Yeah, that down smash actually got split up into two separate attacks, like, uh, like Link's forward smash and Snake's forward smash, where uh, and, and Lucas's as well. Yeah, Ike's. Yeah. Yeah, you can do. Uh, you can opt with the quick first hit and then choose to follow it up with the second hit as well for like a tech chase or like you know. And then Roy as well with a really really solid down smash, just you know, very very fast, covering a large radius around him, and a really good combo coming off the sights right here. Yeah, Roy Huge got that fire. Percent. Uh oh. Ooh. Wow. Gets him with that sweet spot, that meteor, almost knocking Jeez. Oro off the top. Oro just swings the sword around and dies. Honestly, I feel like if Roy's, if Roy's, uh, you know, sweet spot for that down air is going to be such a small hitbox and a meteor, I feel like yeah. it needs to be stronger. Like, I'm not saying Gandorf stomps strong, but like, 
I think it should just be a spike, honestly. That's my opinion, but you know what? Who am I? I, I think as a meteor, like, it's fine, but I, I feel like it should be able to kill off the top as consistently as it. Because, like, like it, it doesn't kill off the bottom, like, consistently at all. Like, people barely get that thing to work. It's, like, more used as, like, a combo, like, kind of thing, where, like, yeah. you know, you just nail them to the ground or whatever. But, like, it should be a kill move off the top. Like, if, it should have enough power to, like, get that bounce. But we'll see what PMBR does next patch. It seems like they're going to have a lot of... Uh, yeah. New Roy's, content for us. Roy's a character where I feel like he is in a, you know, he's a he's in a good spot. Yeah. Maybe slight changes, you know, a couple buffs, uh, but I like I like where he's at. And if anything, I think that there are characters that need to be kind of brought closer to where he is because he's, you know, very skill based. Um, he's got his strengths, he's got his weaknesses, obvious weaknesses. Yeah, you know, he's got recovery is terrible. Very good character design there by the PMBR and instead of. Uh, Mewtwo arguably is one of the like you know yeah. top tier now. Like he he's he's like a straight up Project M character with how good his recovery is. But uh, they did a good job with Roy making him like really really strong, but paying for it in recovery, which is something that Sakurai has always done like in all his games as well. Yeah. So and a solid, very very strong backer coming out uh, off a of ledge hop right there. Kind of poor uh, positioning from Scythe, giving up all stage control and just getting nailed by that. Yeah, that stock actually played out for uh, for a pretty long time. As Oro is just like yeah. continuing Ooh. his work from the last one. Oh this no! One. Ooh, the really really good side beat oh. to stall out there, but Scythe he surprised didn't it, he didn't, it didn't matter. Surprised he did not have his jump. Just shakes it off, shakes Oro's hand, and moves on. Oro. Oro feeling cool right now. Yeah. I, I can tell just by looking at him, like when when Oro feels cool, the wave in his hair becomes like even more wavy. <laughs> That little oral comb over it.